and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Chelsea and if you're new around here we like to do beauty related content on this channel. If that's something that you like then please hit subscribe and if you're already subscribed then please click on the little bell and you'll be notified of every time that I upload. So in today's video we're doing a dead, simple, quick, easy but effective Valentine's look. I've gone ahead and done this eye already and I'm loving how it turned out. It literally took me less than 10 minutes to do and yeah I think it's cute. I think it's It'll be very nice once all the rest of my makeup is on as well. And I didn't really use that many products either. So we're going to go ahead and do this eye. So I've already got the P. Louise Base Shade 2 as always on my eyes. And I'm just going to pat it out because I've got a few creases. So we're going to use mainly the Wedding Wish XL palette again because this is literally just unreal. I've been using it quite a lot because it's got every shade that I need for like your neutral kind of looks but then it's also got these pink rosy tones for today's look as well. Oh also do you like my hair? I've got more red on my hair. The box is called Cherry Red and I'm absolutely living for it and I thought you know what perfect for Valentine's Day as well. Um. Okay yeah anyway so in the palette we're going to go with Bound to You so this shade here which is like a deep aubergine kind of shade. Um, I am going to take these little lashes off when I put these lashes on anyway. And we're going to use just a flat brush first of all. Uh, this is just a very old BH Cosmetics brush. And we're just going to create our wing shape. And just going back and into the pan and picking up more colour and just pressing it on. I absolutely love this palette. If you see it on sale, just buy it, it's so good. And then I'm just taking a um, small Peaches and Cream PC07 brush and I'm just maneuvering the shadow round a little bit more with a bit more control as well, bringing it right out. And there's the base of the wing. So now I'm going to go in with a mixture of Treasure You and I choose you, so these two shades here. I'm just going to dab, 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 dab back and forth into those. And we're placing that 50% on top of that line, shall we call it. And then I'm also going to bring it out as well to create my shape into my crease. So what is everyone's plans for Valentine's Day? I don't think we're actually doing anything this year because trying to save money. But... Yeah, we'll probably just do like one of those M&S, you know, the two to dine for £20 or whatever it is, because we've done that last year and it's actually really nice food. Because I feel like whenever you go out, it's just overpriced because they have like a Valentine's menu or something like that. And with whatever's left on my brush, I'm just bringing it all the way over. And by the way, this is a piece, a P. Louise 230 brush. I don't matter too much on here because we're going to clean it up with some base anyway. And then I'm going back in with the Bound to You shade. I'm also going to take a black shade, so the black shade from the palette which is called No Objections. And I'm just using a Peach and Cream PC12, so just a very flat brush. And I'm just deepening it up a little bit and then I'm going to go in with my bullet brush and just make sure it's blended a bit. And then back in with my pinky shades. And then we're going to go in to the Watch the Queen Conqueror palette because this has got so oh Lydia so many pink shades which will be unreal. So I'm going to go in with Champion which is the lightest shade here. It's like a very baby pink. And I'm just going to use a P. Louise 111 brush and I'm just popping that here. Okay, so I did on this side go in with the blush. But I feel like it creased quite a lot. So I'm actually going to go in on this side using the P. Louise Winter Rose Base. The only thing is, I might need to mix it with a white actually because it's a bit too pink. Let me go get a white base. Okay, so I've mixed it up and it's a very, very light pink. And I'm just placing it in like this gap. I don't want it to be like a proper cut crease. Just place it on that and then I'm just going to blend, tap it out basically and just disperse it a bit more. Like that but then I'm just going to go around the edges and just soften them a bit because like I said I don't want it to be a cut crease I just want it to be just a bit of a blank space ready for our shimmer so using the conquer palette I'm just going to use that shade elevate just a little bit on my finger and just tap that there 
because then I'm also going to go in with Candy Trip from Made by Mitchell and I'm just going to pop a little bit on my palette and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush just to disperse it onto my lid. And then I'm also going to use Peaches and Cream Fancy Pigment, which has got like purple reflex in it, which I think will go nicely with the like purpley wing. And I'm just using a Real Techniques, uh, this is just a base shadow brush. So it's quite a loose, fluffy brush. And I'm just going to tap into the pigment and just very lightly dust it onto my eye. So it's got like a, um, a purpley reflect to it as well, which I think is really, really cute. And then we're just going back into the Wed and Wish and I'm just going to intensify those shades a bit more. But I'm just bringing it a little bit further across my light lash line now. Like that. And then I'm also going to take my Made by Mitchell All Smudge No Budge in Black Track. And I'm just going to use this to line my waterline. And I'm using that to also line my top lash line, if that makes sense. Like especially in this inner corner bit, because I'm going to create a bit of a an inner corner wing. Don't worry, I'm going to clean it up with some base shortly. But before that, I'm just going to take the black from the palette on a flat brush, and I'm just going to basically set that liner in place so it's not going anywhere and that's all smudged no budge but my eyes do tend to water okay then i'm going to go back in with the base just on an acid rain p louise brush and i'm just going to basically clean up all this and take it right up to my waterline and then i'm also going to bring this out and tidy up this bit Use my cheap eBay fluffy brush and just make sure that is all tapped in and blended in seamlessly. Now let me just take these lashes off. These lashes are dead good, you know. I use the Tati lashes, the Monchery ones. And these have been on all week. And they're so good. I just use them as like a during the week lash now. It just makes the lash so much easier. I feel more put together, do you know what I mean? The only thing is the glue literally just stays on your lashes for what feels like ever. So I'm just using some lashes that I got from Amazon, these ones, because these are so good and they're like £10 for that whole pack. I spoke about them before on my channel and then I kind of forgot them, forgot about them and I've really started using them again. Okay, so whilst that's waiting to dry, like my glue, I'm going to do the rest of my face and then I'll be back for the blush and highlight and lips because I feel like we can do that bit together because we can do a bright pink blush and we'll be right back. So I've finished the rest of the eyes by adding on my lashes. I'm having a bad makeup day today and I think it's because I've not really been playing around with makeup that much and so yeah so bear with me whilst I get back into the swing of things. And now I think my cat wants to go out. As soon as I turn the camera back on. I feel like, because I've not really been playing around with makeup, I feel like I've lost my skills and everything just ends up looking mediocre or crap. But, you know, we move. I think this, once I've set my face and everything, I think it will be all okay. And once I add the blush, blush is my favourite part. And so is powder. But I am going to use a new cream blush that I've not used on my channel before. And it's been in my shop, my stash. And it's the Danessa Myrick Dewy Cheek and Lip Palette. Yeah, I've been trying to use this lately. And I think it's okay. I'm not too sure though if you're meant to like dig into it and then just swipe or... Well, because you have to like... It's quite hard to get the... the first layer off if that makes sense but I'm gonna go in with this pinky colour and I'm just using a Peaches PC21 and basically I just swell into it first and then dab my brush in it and then my brush is able to pick up more product and it's quite pigmented so you don't need a lot at all but it's quite a sticky balmy formula and I'm bringing it quite up as well into the end of my temple that's a really nice pinky shade and I like the fact you get four shades in here and they're quite large pans as well so this is going to last me like forever. Just look how 
nice that is and it's got like because where it's a dewy formula it's a really nice subtle glow it is a bit sticky i must admit it is a bit sticky but yeah when i set everything down it'll be fine and i use a different um concealer today because i wanted a brightening concealer and i fished out this kimchi most concealer because it's very very light it's literally i don't even know what the shade is but it's one of the lightest shades and it's okay but it is a little bit creasy under my eyes so i really need to set this because i feel like i'm creasing all over the shop right now and i'm using my trusty primer powder which again is from my shop my stash which i am changing up this weekend or over the next few days um so yeah i'll let you know how i've been getting on with everything but i'm just using my trusty trigwell and yeah, my eyes are a little bit creasy at the moment. They're very dry at the moment as well. Like especially on my eyelids. I've never had dry eyelids before. But like up where my brow is, like up here, I keep getting really like dry patches. It's bizarre. I don't know if it's because I've been using a different eye cream. I've been using the P. Louise one that I got in the advent calendar. Um, or if it's because it's been so cold. You know what? This powder is like what? £3.50 and it's such a good powder literally keeps my makeup on all day and I absolutely love this powder it's finely milled it has got a bit of a white cast to it though I feel like so I feel like it will have flush back but you know no flush photography around here so I've set my blush down a little bit with the powder um, and it's really cute. It's a really cute palette. And then for my blush, like powder blush, I'm just going to use the Made by, Milk Made by Milkshake. Made by Mitchell Blush Press in Milkshake. And I'm just going to use a very big fluffy brush. So this is a Real Techniques blush brush. And we are blushing a lot. I want it to be super duper pink. And I'm just going to add it all up here as well cohesive i love blush i really really love blush and back into the blush and i'm just gonna blend my eyeshadow into my blush and i'm also going to use a bit of the dolly day blush as well for just back here Most of my face is basically done now. Uh, we're going to use the Kylie highlighter, the highlighter in the shade Ice Me Out. So again, this is in my shop, my stash video, which I'm really trying to use and rotate my makeup products. Like that is my aim this year to actually use everything in my collection and have an opinion on everything because I buy so much stuff that just sits there and I do not use it. So I'm just taking this on a blank canvas brush and I'm just dusting it on. It's quite a nice highlighter to be fair. And I'm just going to use my Body Shop All Day Long setting spray. Just to melt everything in. Lovely. Now, for lips, I'm going to have a combination of... It's mainly P. Louise products, but I think I'm also going to pop... And maybe I'll Mitchell blush on my lips. So we're going to use a dark brown lip liner. This is the P. Louise one in the shade Purpose. I've not used this uh, lip liner before. Then a bit of the strawberry cream blush. And then I'm going to top that with lip, oh my god, lip drip in strawberry milkshake, which I absolutely love this one. Oh, so dreamy. And that is it all done. And then we have a really quick, a really easy 
Valentine's look. But again, using the Wedding Wish XL palette because I know a few people wanted me to do another video on this, as well as a few other bits, especially from my Shop My Stash videos. So yeah, so let me know down below what you think and hopefully everyone has a lovely valentine's thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit subscribe and also leave me a little comment down below and hopefully i shall see you in my next video bye